here i have few folders with the name of our customers and each folder contains multiple workbooks based on the months so each folder has 12 different workbooks depending on the months and each workbook each month workbook has number of worksheets based on the days that you have in the same month so if i go with april so we have 30 different worksheets and if i go to february i have 29 worksheets 29 different worksheets based on the days in the month of february so now i'm going to show you how you can do this how you can create all of these workbooks and worksheets using a code in a few seconds so let's get started so for this i'm going to delete all the folders that i have in my main folder and now i'm going to go back to my workbook where i have this code so i'm going to open the visual basic editor and i'm going to run this code to show you all right so here we have the message that says folders and workbooks created successfully so let me click ok and let me go back to my folder and show you we have again all the folders and workbooks in this all right so it's time to understand how this code actually works and how you can edit this code for yourself so first of all we have few variables that you know saves a few values that we use within the code and in this code basically we have three different loops this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one now these three loops works for three different things the first loop creates folders based on these you know, values that we have in the range and then the second loop use a defined number of you know loops like 1 to 12 to create 12 workbooks for each of the folders so so one folder represents one customer so we have 12 workbooks for each of the customer and then the third loop which calculates the number of you know days total days for each month let's say for january february march april and then create those number of worksheets in each of the workbook so this is how this entire code works create folders based on these values and then it creates workbooks 12 workbooks for months and then insert worksheets based on the total number of days we have in each month now if you have more values let's say i'm using 10 different names here and if you have more values let's say you have 20 values you can change the range from here you can use a 20 instead of 10 or you can also change the entire range from here and you can also change the name of the sheet from here and you can also change the format of the name of the month so if i go to my folder and show you you can see i have you know each folder there is a name name of the customer and then you have name of the month as well but if you want to change the format of the name if you want the name to be short let's say for december you just need dec you can change that format from here so instead of four m's i will use three m's and this is how you can change the name now here the, this part of the code basically deletes extra worksheets from each work so when you insert a new workbook you always have few default worksheets so once this code creates new worksheets based on the number of days it deletes the rest of the sheets the rest of the default worksheets and then it saves that workbook using the name of the customer and then the name of the month and then this line of code close the workbook and then all of these three loops runs one after another one after another to create all the folders all the workbooks and insert all the worksheets that you want and in the end once the code is finished all the folders are created all the workbooks are created it shows you a message box that says folder and workbooks created successfully